This is how I became a Christian. You might be wondering if God is even real. Or maybe you're wondering why Christians are the way they are. Well, today you're going to find out. I was always told as a kid that, you know, there is a God. But I asked myself, what even is a God? Fast forward a couple of years, I got invited to my first camp. My brother Tony and my cousins, we were invited and we went to this camp whose pastor was related somehow to my stepdad. I didn't know anybody. It was a couple youth and a worship band. I remember awkwardly worshiping while everybody else kind of just stared off into the distance. It wasn't too bad though. We had some fun playing some games, talking to a couple of people and making some friends. But truthfully, there wasn't a lot of change in me. I went to the same camp the following year and to no avail, it was the same experience. It wasn't until 2017 when it all changed. My parents took me to their church for the first time. It was a small church, but that Sunday it was fuller than normal. Towards the end of the service, the pastor asked, you know, if anybody wants to come up for prayer. And I wasn't going to go. I already had that feeling in my gut. Like, hey, I'm not going to go up there. Maybe next time. But my parents kept looking at me and uh, yeah, they pushed me to go it, it, almost as if they forced me. But so I was like, OK, I'll go, whatever. I went up there walking nervously, wondering, like, what even is it going to happen? You know, I didn't really have much prayer request, but I just went up. I've been prayed over, but I don't know. It just felt different this time. As she started praying, I started feeling the presence of God. It was a presence so huge as if God was standing right in front of me. There's one word that I would use to express of how I felt that day, and that was overwhelmed. She started talking to me, telling me things that only God could have known. And I thought to myself, how does she know this? I never met her before. She would tell me secrets that of things that only God would know, things I have never told anybody. She placed her fingers on my chest and it was like electricity was flowing through me. The presence of God was so strong and I felt so overwhelmed that I just felt the power of God rush into me. And I truly believe that day it was when the Holy Spirit entered my body, you know? It was a, such a surreal thing. And I know what you're thinking. This is crazy. Like, Hugo, how can this even be possible? But I'm just telling you my experience. That's exactly what happened that day. I was flooded with so much overwhelming feelings that I was holding back my tears. I was holding back my emotion. I didn't want to cry in front of everybody, so... I um, held it in and I walked to my back to my seat. And as soon as I got to my seat, started bawling. Mocos and everything, I was crying like crazy, like a baby. That day, I truly believe that I was saved by God, transformed forever. You see, she wasn't an ordinary preacher, but she was an actual real life prophet. Her prediction and knowledge was always on point. I thought there has to be a God. There's no way that I could have experienced all of this and for it to be a coincidence, there is no way. And you might be thinking, oh, well, maybe that was a, just a coincidence just specifically for you. No, she has been doing prophecies and many prophecies and many knowledge that she's been. There's been many testimonies of many people that have gotten the same thing. So it cannot be coincidence that she got it every single time. But. That was truly how I became saved. So this time, you know, I was studying, I was reading his Bible, studying it somewhat at, um, at San Jack in my college with a group of friends and a guy I met. This guy I met at college, he invited me to do uh, Bible studies. He didn't believe exactly what I believed, but he believed it was similar, but he didn't believe in any prophecy or any miracles. So I would get into arguments with him and eventually I stopped meeting with them. He stopped inviting me and we parted ways. But it was because of that guy, his name was Noe, that I grew so much in the Bible. I understood many things and I and I and our differences really pushed me to actually want to know God more and, and study his word. Fast forward a couple months later, I got invited to this camp. This camp was called Camp Rooted. Um I was invited by a friend who invited 
another friend who invited my cousin, who invited all of us. And all of my cousins and me and my brother, we all went. I never seen so many youth worshiping. I remember I walked into the sanctuary and seeing everybody there around my age worshiping God on their knees, speaking in tongues. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I didn't never even knew there was other young people out there like me that actually wanted to know more about God, wanted to experience Him, wanted to feel His love and His mercies. It changed my life that day when I seen that. And I knew right there and then that this is my home. This is where I need to be. That's how I became a Christian. And that's how inevitably I ended up at my current church. God transformed me. He, pl he started placing friends he started placing so many people in my life that really moved me and encouraged me and transformed me and, and helped, helped me stay in the faith. That's exactly how God literally saved me. And there's so many people out there questioning and wondering, is God even real? Is God even alive today? And God is alive today. He's done so many miracles and so many things. Um, but yeah, that's how I got saved and I hope it might be different for you it might you the way you experience god might be different not everybody experiences god in a super miraculous supernatural way but god is alive and his word says that if you seek me you will find me if you seek me with all of your heart his word says that he promises us that he will, that he who looks for god that he will find him god isn't hard to find it's just that we don't seek him God is an open door. He's ra He's waiting at the other side of that door. He's waiting for you to go ahead and, and experience Him and look for Him. He wants to be found. So I just would like to encourage you today. Pick up your word. Pick up your Bible. If you don't have a Bible, get the Bible app. Do what you can to really look for Him. And He promises that he will, you'll find Him. I hope this video helped you guys. And uh, I hope... Uh, to continue making videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.